Welcome to It's Not Soccer, subscribe for more football news. Transfer window is closed, and in the first part we listed the winners of this window. If you haven't watched that video, we suggest you do. And now, let's talk about the losers of this transfer window, and let's start with Cristiano Ronaldo. Having appeared disgruntled for most of preseason and with a desire to leave for a club playing Champions League football, the 37-year-old superstar faces some interesting months at Old Trafford. Though manager Eric Ten Hag might still be some distance away from finding the right tactical balance, or even his best 11, few believe that Ronaldo holds the key to either. As proven this summer, no matter what past achievements, persona or reputation, Ronaldo might struggle to find the right sporting opportunity in an increasingly value-driven, age-obsessed European transfer market once it opens again in January. Leicester renowned for their analytical and creative approach to recruitment. Leicester are normally on the front foot when the transfer window opens, despite having their recent ability to act compromised by financial fair play restrictions. This was especially key this summer, partly to mitigate the loss of Fafana. Though the deal materialized late, it looked likely to happen for weeks, and also to start rebuilding a team ripe for rejuvenation, with key players on expiring contracts. Yet with only one major signing, Woot phase to replace Fafana, their window has failed to deliver as well as being the most unsettling of his career, according to manager Brendan Rodgers. With just one point from a possible 15, Leicester are already drawn into a relegation battle that looked unlikely at the end of last season. Frankie de Jong, make sure to keep your players happy, especially those whom you depend on, is one of the most basic rules of football management, and one that doesn't need any further explanation. While the elegant Netherlands midfielder may have got his wish of staying in La Liga, the events of this summer, be it marginalization or alleged broken promises, all played out in the media, would usually make for a toxic mix on which relationships are demolished, not built. Oddly, despite the club's insistent effort to offload de Young this summer, he has featured in the club's opening three league fixtures. Who do you think the losers of this transfer window are? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, it's not soccer, for more football news.